Welcome to Ukrainian style dolls. Let's look further and walk together. COVID-19 forced the whole world to stop. Like many other people around the world, I'm in a lockdown. We can travel and spend time with our friends as before, but we have the internet. I invite you to my wonderful country, Ukraine. We will be accompanied by amazing handmade dolls on the trip. I sewed them myself from the recycled textile and I am going to show them to you in details. They are dressed in festive women costumes of the different regions of Ukraine in the 19th century. I came up with a personal story for each one of them. Ukraine is the largest country in Europe. It has a long history, deep national traditions, fantastic, beautiful nature and very hospitable people. As a large state, Ukraine divided into regions, like the states in the US, the federal states in Germany or the provinces in France. There are 25 regions in Ukraine. I got the same number of dolls. They are all different and each one of them is as interesting as the region it represents. In this first video, we are meeting a woman from Dnipropetrovsk. Her name is Tetyana. She is going to represent its native land from the central eastern part of the country. It is situated on the middle of Dnipro, our largest and most important river. This area is mostly a steppe zone, with the some forests. There are more than 150 animal species down there. Dnipropetrovsk region has a developed industry and science. However, the greatest treasure of this region is the people. Here is my Tatyana, a hospitable woman from a Ukrainian village. She is festively dressed in an embroidered shirt. The shirt is embroidered with a traditional national ornament. Colors are red and black. Red is the color of love. Black is a symbol of the fertile land. Grapes embroidered on her shirt symbolizing family well-being, wealth and woman's fertility. The rectangle skirt you see on the doll attached to the waist called plachta. The front red fabric is called zapaska. Ukrainian women wear girded at the waist with a belt called kraika. On my Tatiana's head you may see a festive scarf with a traditional floral pattern. A headscarf was a mandatory attribute of the married woman in Ukraine those days. Only young girls could go out with their heads uncovered. I guess you will be interested to know how this doll is made. It's not necessary to tell that it's better to see than to hear. So, let's watch the first stage of making a doll. How the doll begins.
Tatiana is a very skilled housewife. She is a great host. She set the table with her favorite Ukrainian dishes. That's why she has a makitra with dumplings in her hands. Dumplings of Areniki are especially popular in Ukraine. These are the dough products boiled in water or steamed. It's surprisingly delicious and goes with many different fillings, sweet or unsweet. They can be stuffed with meat, stewed cabbage, potatoes and various veggies. Vareniki can go with bacon, cracklings or fried onions and sweet ones with puppy seeds, cherries, apples or different berries with honey on the side. My favorite choice is stuffed with cottage cheese with sour cream on the side. It's very delicious. Tetiana invites guests to Dnipropetrovsk region. This is a land of a fascinating history. Syrian mounds have kept their treasures for thousands of years. Archaeologists have found those artifacts of ancient Syrian culture. The most famous of them is the ancient golden city on Pectoral. A very unique art has been developed in this area, examples of which can be seen in the village of Petrikivka. Petrikivka art is recognized by UNESCO as a cultural heritage of mankind. This is unspeakable beauty. These days, some of those works are preserved and developed in the center of artistic creativity. Petrikivka is extremely popular in Ukraine and well-known art abroad. Any quarantine measures eventually gonna be over and then we'll be able to travel as before. In the meantime, my Tatiana and I sincerely wish you to stay healthy. I invite you to travel around Ukraine with me in the next video. There is always something new to discover here. Next week, our new friend will take us to the land of Cossack's glory, to Cherkasu region. I can't wait seeing you again.